Jamaicans react to news that has surfaced on the internet that Elaine Thompson Hera is now pregnant. Now, while this news is not actually confirmed by her, she basically posted a video to which a lot of Jamaicans are reacting to. I guess the angle kind of made it look like she's actually pregnant. So, you don't know me going to show you the reactions, and I am not confirming this because I'm actually going to show you a picture that she posted which, which kind of counters the claim that she's actually pregnant. You understand, people? But I'm going to show you that and we're going to talk about it and we're going to dissect it and all of that. You understand? But also, we're going to talk about Brianna Williams, who is now feeling very welcome at the Titan Track Club. And you know that Brianna Williams is a very talented athlete, but where she was at, you know, so some people feel like say, she now get the push where she's supposed to get and stuff like that. So, which part she had trained now, she's getting a lot of support and you don't know, she feel good, people. So, we're going to talk about that. But also, we're going to talk about the legendary sprinter Usain Bolt, who actually surprised a few persons as he stopped at a popular restaurant to grab a bite to eat and thing and thing. You understand people? So you know him take pictures with the staff and of course you see the legendary sprinter you see in Bolt you got definitely want to get pictures with him and you got just want their own him and stuff like that. You see my people? So we're going to talk about the story there as well but you don't know as usual people before my go night make sure you like this video click on the like button it now will cost you a dollar and also subscribe if you don't subscribe yet. Click the notification bell on that way you can get notified when I post a new video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is a girl, Elaine Thompson Hera. You see my people? So as I say, a post was made over by Pinkwall today, Zane, and basically they were saying that Elaine Thompson Hera was pregnant, Zane. And how this come out is because she, she did a TikTok video, and the angle that she actually showed her belly from, it kind of looked like she was actually pregnant and things, Zane. I'm going to actually show you the video, and then Uno can tell me, if you don't feel like that's the case, or maybe it's just the angle, because some people feel like say, they don't really see it. But I actually see the belly where they might talk about, but at the same time, it could also be the angle, or it could be just the, the way how she moved the camera and all of that. You see my people? So check out the clip here, and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. Alright, so after that was posted, a lot of persons are react to it and people more want to tell me if you see it or not. Because I remember, you know, the woman don't announce that she's expecting a child. And you don't know from somebody that announced something, you only can assume and all of this is just allegations, right? But we're going to move um, to some of the comments them now with some of the people in my post, right? Because some people say, look, now them understand why she never really did her own good because she, you know, she did have a little bun in the oven all along. You see what I'm saying? So after that post was made, a lot of persons are coming. So one person say, maybe it's the angle because no way a belly can pop up so quick. A next person say, wow. So she's been running with pregnant, or while pregnant, my bad. So she's been running while pregnant. Congratulations, queen. Somebody say, congratulations. Everything makes sense now. All the best. Somebody say, knew it. Told you all something did I go on with her. So, you know, maybe this person has said, look, there is must be a reason why she now run certain speed. And, you know, remember, say she wasn't doing her best in the race, them, you know. You see what I'm saying? And next person said, oh, some I want to feel now for the bashing on the giver. Coming now with the fake congrats. Somebody said, watch this video so many times and didn't see the bump till I read the caption. You see me? Somebody said, but the pic she posts don't look prego. Somebody said, beautiful, that belly popped out quick. Somebody said, but Elaine now have no belly on her page, LOL. You see me? Somebody said, oh, she was well prego during. Wow. So those are some of the comments them with some of the people in my post. You understand? But me see she posts up these photos that you're seeing on the screen now, Zane Panar um, Instagram page. And... Looking at our belly, people, it certainly look normal to me. You understand what I mean? And me say somebody left a comment say like them say that is a way for shut up the people them. And I guess that is countering the people them where I say she prego. So I don't really know. You understand? At the end of the day, still a lot of persons are running with it say she prego. And I think that 
it, it might actually be true, but at the same time, we can't confirm it because we have to wait till we hear it from she. You understand what I'm saying more people? But if she's pregnant, congratulations. If not, you don't know when it happens, it will happen. Or you understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to just leave this topic right here. Uh, uno can tell me in the comment section if you feel like say, this is the case or you feel like say, it's just the angle. Leave it in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about your girl, Brianna Williams. And as I said, Brianna Williams' move is being approved by a lot of persons because they feel like it's a wish party a train now. It can actually bring her to a level where she's supposed to be. Because as a sprinter, you know, people, you see, as a sprinter, you need the right, um, you need for just have the right coach around you and them thing there. A coach is very important, you see me? Just as important as the person who is actually running. Anyway, let me get to the story right about now. And uh, only can tell more anything. Can you understand? So it says, move approve. Olympian Bailey supports Williams Titan Switch. Olympian Aline Bailey, Aileen Bailey, says Titan Track Club provides the right kind of environment for the sprinter Brianna Williams to take her career to the next level. Williams announced last month that she is leaving the camp of Otto Bolden to be trained by Gregory Little and Michael Freita at Titans. Her decision to change clubs have been the topic of much discussion in the public sphere, with many in the track and field fraternity debating not only whether the time had come for her to seek a new coach but also what club would be the most ideal for her but Bailey who like Williams has an Olympic gold medal in the women's 4x100 relays says that the Titans has the right personnel to provide the motivation she needs to excel I think it would be great for her because she will have Freta and reigning national 100 meters champion Johan Blake who have a wealth of experience and she will have training partners that will push her to her best Bailey told the Jamaica Observer while Elite Performance Track Club features Shelly and Fraser Price as its marquee sprinter new era as Elian Tamsehera and MVP track club has Sherika Jackson Williams now become the first high profile female sprinter at Titans there are questions about freighter and little experience training at high profile female sprinter but Bailey compasses Williams situations to her times at racers track club under the guidance of head coach Glenn Mills some female thrive better with just male training partners she said I was the only female athlete at racers when the group just started so maybe she prefers that type of setting and females benefit more from training with male sprinters Freighter like Bailey and Williams as Olympic gold in the 4x100 relays Bailey a friend of and former national teammate of Freighter says he has the personality Williams need in a coach he's a kind gentle and caring person kind of like Otto, she said she will get that attention. Williams' departure from Bolden's camp was an amicable one between both parties, with Bolden giving his blessings for her to relocate to Jamaica. Bailey provides some clarity on this. I'm sure Otto will also will be involved in some form because he and Freta have been good friends from chat days, he said. Williams, a former world under-20 double sprint champion and former national junior 100 meters record holder at 20 years old as a personal best of 10.94 seconds over 100 meters and 22.50 over 200 meters and national junior record over the distance so yes my people i feel like this is definitely a change that she needed to do yes you know said things can only go up for brianna williams because i think she's very talented she does need that push and sometimes you have to move from the environment that you're used to and go to somewhere else for actually get that you understand what i say, my people so brianna williams we well, look out for great things from him, my girl. Just go on do your thing and, you know, wish you all the best. Holy pa people are root for you, you understand? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about legendary sprinter Usain Bolt surprising some people at a popular restaurant and thing. Isn't it, my people? So this is what the story is saying. Usain Bolt surprises diners at £15 ahead Wigan restaurant with Bolt and Wanderer star. The speedy Olympic 100m world record breaker popped into the new bistro and posed for photos with staff and fans. Olympic hero Usain Bolt surprised diners at the new Wigan restaurant by nipping in for a bite to eat. The former 100m sprinter delighted guests at Rendezvous restaurant and bar at Astley Point on Sunday the 25th of September by posing for photos with them. The Jamaican star who retired in 2017 and whose net worth is estimated at 90 million dollars popped into the eat 
factory where most means are under 15 pound. Ahead with his pal, the former Bolton Wanderers player, Ricardo Gardner, rendezvous with serve British food and sushi only opened this month and shared the news of its celebrity guests on his Facebook page. The post on Facebook said, Happy Sunday, it was for us at Rendezvous. Thank you to Usain Bolt who visited us yesterday to celebrate his friend Ricardo Gardner's birthday. Once again, it was a pleasure to meet you and show you around for the new restaurant and bar. We look forward to hopefully seeing you again soon. One diner, Dennis Nuttall commented, we were fortunate enough to be in the restaurant when Usain Bolt was there and what a lovely genuine guy he is. We had many photos taken with him even when he was trying to eat. Bless him. What a privilege to meet such a wonderful athlete. It was the second time this year that Bolt had visited Astley Point. He was spotted dining at La Casa restaurant and bar in June. It is not known what his connection is to the area. Bolt won eight Olympic medals in his track career and set world record in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 4x100 relay. So, yes, my people, this is what we love seeing. When time people are talking about our celebrities, them, them realize they're not hype thing. You see me? very humble soul you see in both is and you know yo just like with the article saying you know, even when you see in both i try to eat him still take the time for actually take picture and not every single celebrity would have do that you understand what i mean? say maybe some would have said wait till me don't eat my actually take a picture with you but you see in both them when they will stop pause or whatever it may be and take picture with you if you just make sure you know say look you know, I appreciate everyone. You know, it's not about money or wealth or anything like that. So I think a lot of celebrities out there can definitely learn a thing or two from the legendary sprinter you see in both. You understand me? I say my people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.